Hey guys, this is AJYT Abbott, and today I'm going to be making a video ranking the Marvel movies. My least favorite to my favorite. We, we all know who my, fa well, my favorite Marvel movie is. If you also my type of um, um, favorite Marvel movies, link in the description. Maybe. I don't know if I have time to edit. Um, anyway, I'm not going to be including Black Panther or Avengers Infinity War on this list. Also, no spoilers for these movies in case you haven't seen them. Avengers Infinity War review coming at you guys tomorrow after I see it. And in two weeks, when Black Panther comes out, I'll have a review for that. Enjoy. Okay, so at the number um, 17 spot is Thor The Dark World. And in my opinion, this is just a really boring, dry, dragged out movie that really has no place in the MCU besides making Thor a better character. At the number 16 spot, we have Iron Man 3. And also, this is just a dry movie. I mean, some of the action is okay. But the ultimate reveal of the Mandarin being fake, being portrayed by just, like, some dumb guy who wants attention, apparently. Yeah, I don't understand either. I mean, the stuff with Tony envision or visioning the Avengers' death and everything, you know, kind of having those visions and, and struggles is interesting. But it just wasn't enough to save this movie for me. I, I, I couldn't find myself... Enjoy. At the number 15 spot is The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, you, you remember Ed Norton, how he was Hulk for like one year? Yeah, I, I don't either. The only reason I remember this movie is because Ed, Ed, Edward Norton is in it. And it's one of the, uh, I think it's the second? Yeah, it is the second movie in the MCU. That's the only reason I remember it. That's the only thing that makes this movie memorable memorable and it's just it's not enough this movie just wasn't enough to define hulk make hulk a good popular character for me at the number 14 spot is iron man 2 yeah iron man 2 wow you have all that technology and all you did was make whips i mean this movie has some positives in it we have Black Widow coming into play. We have Pepper Potts becoming a more impo important character. But the thing that, that just really, really kills this movie is Whiplash. Because he's dumb. He's a dumb villain. And Iron Man's... Uh, Iron Man, like, 2 and 3 and just all the Iron Man movies, that just don't do it for me. So you'll see them really low on this list. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but at the number 13 spot, we have Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Yeah, I know. It's a political thriller. I'm, I'm 14. I, I, I can't. I just, I can't watch this movie. It's, it's, I, I just can't. I watch, I can watch it once or twice just for enjoyment, for the action, and for Winter Soldier, because he's one of my favorite characters. So is Captain America. But... It just doesn't do it for me. The action is good. The story is okay. With Bucky being a villain. And then you get some Black Widow and Nick Fury stuff in there. But otherwise, I just I just can't see myself watching this movie that much. At the number 12 spot, we have the original Iron Man. Wow, guys, I told you. Iron Man movies just don't do it for me. Just like Captain America movies, they just don't do it for me. Except for Civil War and the First Avenger. Winter Soldier was trash, though, in terms of story. Yeah, you guys heard that last, last, uh, the last minute ago. But anyway, Iron Man, it's it's good for the Iron Man origin story. I'm not I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that. Iron Man is a fantastic hero. He's one of my favorites in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His movies just don't click with me. I find more enjoyment out of him in, like, Civil War and Avengers and Spider-Man than I do these. At the number 11... Yeah, at the number 11 spot is Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, guys, I know. Avengers Age of Ultron is better than Captain America the, the Winter Soldier. Get over it, Okay. I just did watch Avengers Age of Ultron the other day. I still love it. It's a great Avengers movie. Not as great as the first one. 
And coming up at the number 10 spot is Ant-Man. Yeah, I know what you guys are going to say. What? How could you put Ant-Man in front of Age of Ultron? Uh, 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 freaking out. Dude, it's my opinion. Th these, these choices are my opinion, so please just don't leave co hate comments over these choices. I just personally happen to think that Ant-Man is better than Age of Ultron. It has better story, better characters. It, it, the action scenes are on point. Not saying that Age of Ultron isn't, but it's just very cool to see such an intricate character from the comics put onto the big screen. It's such a big movie that nobody thought would be so good. But it was really good the first time I watched it. Fantastic. Now when I watch it, fantastic. And, exci and I'm excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think they set that movie up beautifully in this. At the, at the number nine spot... This is a huge shock for me, but I recently watched Thor again, and I realized how much I love it. I don't care what people say about him being on Earth for too long. That is the entire point. We get to see Thor and his struggles on Earth along with Loki, one of the best villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fantastic. At the number 8 spot is Captain America, the first Avenger. I told you guys, I love Captain America, and his origin story was fit, was was put so well into this movie, and it was fantastic to see Peggy Carter, um, Nick Fury at the end, and all that. Black Widow um, shows up in the second movie, but still, she was not needed in this movie. A lot of people say Winter Soldier was really good because of Black Widow. No, man. First Avenger was good with, with First Avenger was better than Winter Soldier and it did not have Natasha Romanoff in it. So yeah, I love the origin story. I love all the stuff with Steve and Agent Carter. And I love the World War aspect. At the number seven spot, we're getting down to the top five, the down to the wire, as some of you might say. Um we have Guardians of the Galaxy, the original Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Volume 2, Volume 1 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, I really enjoy this movie, mainly because of... We, we all know the answer to this. I'm just going to put in three words. I am Groot. Or, we are Groot. The sacrifice that Groot makes... Spoilers. Sorry. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Groot dies, but his sacrifice was so heartwarming, and it just stole the movie... For me, it, it locked it up in my heart, and I love it. Actually, pretty weird. It might be a shock to you guys, because this was number five on my top five favorite MCU movies. Not anymore, boy. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is in number six. Oh, yeah, that's right. Anyway, uh, Yondu, Mantis, Ego, Nebula. It, they're, they're all good characters, but... Or, um, I mean, Mantis, Mantis and Ego are great characters. E uh, Nebula has some great character development in this movie, and I love that about this. And also, the comedy is fantastic on point, but Yondu and Drax, they just steal the show. I'm telling you guys, you have to watch it to see, but it's a great movie. Five is Doctor Strange. That's right, Doctor Strange is at number five. He is my favorite MCU um, hero, even though his movie is at number five. He, he's my favorite. He's my favorite MCU hero, mainly because of his movie um, and the comics and everything else. Because I think the visuals are mind... They're just mind-bending. If you watch it, your mind will be blown by the visual effects. The story is fantastic. Characters, Wong... Um, the Ancient One, Doctor Strange, everybody's fantastic. Benedict Cumberbatch does a fantastic job. And at number four is Spider-Man Homecoming. You guys already know, like, this movie was so good, man. I watched it in theaters, I was blown away. Especially by the huge twist. I'm not gonna give it away, but it is absolutely crazy. It's like... Around the end of the movie, when they're about to go to Homecoming, um, Peter and Liz. Oh, man. It's, it's so amazing. And Iron Man in this movie, he steals the show. Just kidding. Spider-Man is way better. It's his movie. <laughs> 
at number three, and it kind of feels nostalgic at this point. Now that we're at the, I think, with uh, with Ant Man and the Wasp, um, when Ant Man and the Wasp comes out, this will make the Marvel Cinematic Universe have nineteen movies. And uh, the 18th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Infinity War. And this is the first Avengers movie here at number three. It's so nostalgic. I remember when I first bought it on DVD and watched it, I was blown away by all the characters. All of them were good. Even Hawkeye and Black Widow, he didn't even have that much story. They saved their story until Age of Ultron. But it was still just amazing for me. This. This is the film that knocked Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 out of the top five i recently bought and watched for the first time i know thor ragnarok and this is my evidence of how much i loved it it's at number two this is my second favorite marvel cinematic universe film of all time the characters valkyrie korg hella oh my gosh they're just amazing the grandmaster um, I love Loki in this movie. Loki was, like, my favorite character in this movie, believe it or not. And just Thor losing it. Actually, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's amazing. But you guys already know the best, and I, I think everybody will agree with this, at least until they see Infinity War, because we all know Avengers Infinity War is going to be the best movie. But for now... Captain America Civil War is the best and my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. It has fantastic story, great characters coming together, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Iron Man, just crazy amounts of fights, Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, Spider-Man, Black Panther. We get introductions to Black Panther. We get more development for Vision, Natasha, um... Get Ant Man in there even. Crossbones was a great villain, even if he if he uh something happens to him in the beginning. The fights with Captain America, Bucky and Captain and uh Iron Man are just some of the most amazing action sequences in all of the MCU and Spider Man, Black Panther, they, they their introductions into the MCU is just the cherry on top for this movie. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Will Black Panther be good? Will Avengers Infinity War be good? Did, were you shocked with Ant-Man being above Age of Ultron? Were you shocked with Winter Soldier being low, being so low on the list? Let me know in the comments below. But be nice, and make sure to keep sharing that Marvel Cinematic Universe love. And remember, Marvel is always better in DC. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. DC is way better than Marvel. JK! Marvel is the best. DC sucks. Goodbye, guys.